Just bringing you a quick fix to the stalker out of video memory error people have been running into. Um, look, it, it, it's, it's really simple. Just go to your install directory, like a uh, Steam library, this is where mine is. Steam apps, common. <clears throat> what do we got? Stalker, Stalker 2, part of Chernobyl. And you'll see the Stalker 2 icon. It, it's just simple. It's just a runner's administrator thing. But go down to show more options, properties, and you go to the compatibility tab and you click this, run as administrator, and you apply and you hit OK. And you launch it through your desktop icon. Now, I know, chill out, calm down. Some of you will still have this problem if you're overclocking. So, for example, I'm using Intel XTU. I'm also overclocking my memory. I'm doing some pretty mean overclocking here. Uh, as you can see, my overclock is no joke. It's pretty, pretty steep. 63, 63, 63, 62, 66, 68, 59. Anyway, <clears throat> my memory is 2x32 two two gigabytes, 64 gigabytes, 6,000 G skill at 7,000 with CAS30. So I have some steep ass overclocks. Don't stress that shit. Just reduce the overclocks on like the last four cores or something. Like I, I mine were at like 61, 61, 60, 50, you know, something was a little bit steeper. All I did was drop like these last ones to 62, 60, 60, 60, 59. And I still got an offset of, you know, negative on my voltage for this, but it still pulls quite a bit of voltage. And you might have to fine tune your, your overclock a little. My E core stayed at 46, but that, that's really it. That's all that's causing it is you have a slightly unstable overclock for this game. Now I can run Cyberpunk, no, no problem with my other profile, but I had to create a different profile for Stalker. It's really that simple. Don't freak out. Modify your overclock a little bit, maybe adjust your voltages a tiny bit and it'll be stable. That's really it, man.